In 2018, China launched a secret plan to attack or dethrone the U.S. dollar. Now, in the past 12 months, they've obviously hit a second part of that plan. They've gotten Brazil, Argentina, Venezuela, Russia, Saudi Arabia to ditch the dollar and settle in China's currency. Now, a lot of people in this country, mostly elites, they're saying there is no way the Chinese currency could replace the dollar. But these are the same people who said, let's let China into the WTO 20 years ago. It's not going to kill manufacturing. They'll become democratized. They'll become friends of ours. They'll do all this great stuff. They'll be terrific for us. They're going to be friendly. They're going to get democracy, et cetera, et cetera. These elites who've been pushing China to come in and trade with us, they're like, you know, they're like people who have not had natural, like animals that have not had natural predators around them. They've gotten like fat, dumb, and happy. They forgot what it's like to be desperate and hungry for success, which China clearly hasn't. So I said to myself, the elites have been saying for the last year, two years, three years, four years, there's no way China's currency could replace the dollar. But it's happening right before our very eyes. So a few weeks ago, actually a few years ago, but the last couple of weeks, I've really been digging down into this topic, doing a lot of research, and I plan to have a nice new research report for you, share with you what I found. Instead of saying there's no way China could replace our currency, what I've been saying is how could they? And what I stumbled upon is the fact that they could replace our currency if they backed their currency with gold. Guess what I found? I have found that China's central bank has been one of the largest buyer of gold in the past 18 months. It is absolutely conceivable that China actually announces that they're going to back their currency with gold, which would pull a bunch of people into the Chinese currency, ditching the U.S. dollar, which is clearly not backed by gold. Now, I've been finding that their central bank has really been buying tons and tons of gold, basically like 71 metric tons a month on average for the past few months. So they seem very likely to me to make a move in the coming weeks or months. And I'm putting together a, a report. I've been really kind of digging into this. I've been researching it for weeks. I spent all weekend really just sitting side reading how this would look. I mean, look, guys, I know it seems abstract, but let me put it to you this way. The US dollar as a world's reserve currency is the greatest privilege we have right now. If we lost that privilege, your wealth, your money, you'd lose, would lose 25% of its value. Can you imagine losing 25% of your IRA, your retirement account? Can you imagine if you made 25% of your purchasing power disappeared overnight? It would be like 25% inflation. Whatever you buy today at the grocery store, you'd be able to buy 25% less. Those are the stakes. And I'm not sure that our government or the elites, quote unquote elites, that are running this country really understand uh, what's going on with this. So I'm working on that report and I plan on getting it to you soon. This is why I didn't record a video last week. This has gotten my full attention. I'm locked in on it. And I'll be back to you soon with an update.